Here with head coach Brad Laird, Northwestern State, getting back on the football field uh, yesterday for practice, but Thursday for this week's game against Southeastern. And coach, um, kind of asked Braden Staggs the same thing. Getting out there yesterday for practice, was that cathartic for this team? You know, that was, uh, you know, just, the, you know, there's several steps that, that you have to, to take to move forward. And, uh, you know, one thing that we talked about in the team meeting yesterday was a quote. Uh, from Martin Luther King, um, you know, he, he talks about, you know, if you if you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you got to keep moving forward. And, and that's kind of, you know, I ended the, the team meeting yesterday with that. And I think that's, uh, you know, for the players and the coaches uh, to be able to, uh, you know, start working towards um, the, the new normal, I guess you could say. And, and part of that step is going out to practice and, you know, it was good. Good just to be out there with the guys. Um, you know, you saw some guys laughing and uh, breaking a sweat and, uh, and doing that. So I thought it was very good for players and coaches to, to be able to get out there. In this situation, we know that the game has been moved to a Thursday. So it kind of truncates that week. And I guess in some respects, it kind of keeps certain things front of mind and focus back on the football field. Yeah, because it will be a fast-paced week, um, you know, to, to – to you know, with the game being on Thursday night, you know you got a couple of days less of preparation. But um, you know, more importantly, uh, the the preparation and execution won't change. And, and what I mean by that, we may have fewer days, but um, you know what our our guys have to have to do from now until game time is uh, you know to prepare to be the best that we can be on Thursday night. You mentioned the guys laughing and smiling. How? I, any word kind of seems flippant in this time, but how refreshing was that to see? Yeah, it it, uh, it, it was, you know, because people grieve differently. Um, you know, and I've said this, and I, I I can tell you, I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but you know that thir you know that that Thursday morning, um, starting about 1:45 in the morning um, to to the end of the day on Thursday was probably the only consistent day and what I mean by that because everything was uh, you know numb um, disbelief uh, emotional and then you know from from that day moving forward because everybody grieves differently I think we've got to understand and respect that um, you know some people grieve emotionally some grieve to themselves some need uh, to laugh and so and it's okay to do any of those um, you know that's the thing that's um, that we've just got to learn from each other what is that grieving process like and um, you know when when everybody else outside of uh, the family in that locker room maybe go their separate way it's still um, and it's still inside of us and and it's not a situation to where it's it's a one or two day thing this is a a thing that uh, we'll continue to grieve, uh, you know, as we continue to move forward. So just having that respect for each other and how they grieve. As you look forward to Southeastern, you mentioned less time to prepare. You do at least have some familiarity as we kind of shift to the football side of things with, with Frank Selfo. Uh, and you certainly have a lot more familiarity with Anthony Selfo, who's on staff. Uh, but, you know, in this situation, when it is a quick turnaround, now, they've, they've had a tough season as well, but you do have some familiarity with that staff and kind of what they've done in the past. Yeah, and, and I'm going to start out by because of, you know, who, who, who Frank is, start with Frank and, 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 and the administration there at Southeastern to um, as the change occurred to them, um, you know, yesterday they they were open to do anything they could do to to to, to help our situation, and um, you know you would think and hope that you get that everywhere, but uh, but thankful to to Frank Selfo and the administration at Southeastern, um, you know, for allowing this to to change because uh, you know both teams want to play and, um, and and think it'll be good to play so. And then, you know, knowing what you're going to get on the field, yes, uh, the, the last thing we're going to do is look at records. Um, and, and, and he's probably saying the same thing because you turn on the film, uh, you don't see that. And uh, it's a very talented football team that, uh, you know, has, you know, things hadn't fell their way uh, in certain games. And, and you know, we, we know exactly how that's been. So, um, you know what type of football – I mean, you're, this is a team that was preseason – 
um, uh, you know, pick to win the conference and what they've done uh, since uh, Frank's been there. And so uh, you, you're going to have a good football team coming here Thursday night. When you look at there, you're going to have some familiarity with guys on the field too. And it's kind of, you, you mentioned a new normal. In the world of the transfer portal, you may end up playing guys you've recruited, and you're going to see at least three of those out there this weekend. Is it something you're still getting used to as a coach to, to see those guys on opposite sides? It is different, you know, and, and especially this week. You know, those three young men that, um, again, that, that, you know, recruited uh, to come to Northwestern and, and did some good things at, at Northwestern State. And, um, you know, that is the, the element of college football now. So, um, you know, the, yes, the, the three hours, uh, you know, you're going to work to uh, – you know, to do whatever you can to win the game, but, uh, you know, before and after, uh, you know, those are our brothers, you know, and, and uh, we've got a great relationship with those guys and, um, you know, really look forward to seeing them and uh, hug their neck, you know, lo you know, a couple of them, uh, you know, especially Zach, you know, had a, had a relationship with Ronnie. We've, uh, I've actually talked to Zach, uh, you know, several different times uh, since the end of last week, and so, you know, look forward to, to seeing him and just hugging his neck and, uh, you know, wishing him the best. And, again, you know, the three hours, um, you know, we're going to do what we can to win that football game. But before and after, uh, like I said, that is still our brother. I'm sure during the three hours you want the defensive lineman to hug his neck. Well, maybe his <laughs> shoulders and down, but, you know, when you get into it, it is. You know, it's still a football game and the objective still remains the same. And that's what's fun about these type of games. When you, when you play some guys that, that – you know what they're about, good people. Um, you know, it's, it's, and I said that about Tim, Tim Rebo last week and didn't, you know, have the opportunity to play. But, um, you know, those guys, uh, you know, you love the competition. And, you know, because it's, uh, you, know what, you know what you're going to get from those guys. And, uh, you know, we look forward to it. You mentioned those good people. And I think we'd be remiss. You mentioned the administration at Southeastern. I know Myself, I've heard from colleagues in this conference. I know you have too, and it's a horrible situation, but it does remind you uh, how close, even in competition, we all are. No doubt. It's, um, and, and I told our coaches that, you know, it's the, the people that reach out and support because, you know, they know the investment uh, in the student athletes. They know the relationships that, uh, you know, players to players, coach to players have, and you spend so much time with those guys. and. You know, so it's, um, you know, you appreciate the text, you appreciate the calls, you appreciate, um, you know, what, uh, what they have meant in this grieving process. You know, that, that's part of it. And, and also to our administration here that, um, you know, uh, starting with uh, uh, Dr. Jones and, and uh, Kevin Boston and, and how supportive they've been and they're hurting. And as we all get through this, it's, um, you know, you, you, you really find out a lot about each other's character during adverse situations and you're seeing there's a lot of great people here at Northwestern State and within this conference. You always talk about the five chances you get to play at home this year. This one probably going to feel a little bit more special given the circumstances and the fact that you're coming back to play at home. Yeah, you know, having the opportunity um, after this to play at home um, is uh, will be special, you know, because you know, so many, um, you know, opportunities that, that Ronnie had out there on the practice field and uh, scrimmages and, uh, you, know, uh, you know, on a headset, you know, he's done a little bit of all. So, um, you know, to, to be able to play it at home, yes, Thursday instead of Saturday um, will be special and, uh, and have the opportunity to, uh, to honor Ronnie. Coach, as always, thank you for your time.